Life raft will fill up, the pressure relief valves will start hitting, and then you guys can go for a swim. Life rafts are a necessary safety feature when working on the federal navigation channels in the Commonwealth of Virginia. But for the crews of the various vessels the Norfolk District deploys, none has ever had to call upon these life-saving devices. I've worked for the Corps for 30 years, and I've never seen any kind of demonstration like this, or better yet, have never had the need to actually get it, uh, deploy a life raft. This is why the Norfolk District teamed up with USA Services Incorporated and the Lynn Haven Dive Center in Virginia Beach to give the crews hands-on experience in deploying a life raft and showing them all the items that are packed in it. It was a, a very inexpensive way to provide ex excellent training that typically uh, would be very cost prohibitive. Cost prohibitive because the life rafts themselves are expensive. In this particular case, the district is using a life raft that is being retired from service to give the crews a real sense of what it is like to get in and out of a raft should they ever be required to. Well, in the deep end of the pool, which would be like out in the actual water if you had to deploy it, um, it was a, a lot more difficult. You have to get your momentum to get up on the platform and then to throw yourself in the boat. Planners of the training believe their goals were met in showing the crews just how difficult it is to pull yourself out of the water and into the safety of the raft. I think it's beneficial and it definitely, I think it helped them see how hard it is getting a life raft and just how they work in general. When the situation really comes about, it's good to know that you've done this before and that you can handle it. Those who took the plunge into the pool believe the goals of showing them what to expect and just how hard it is to get into a life raft were met. At the time, whenever you have to do it, it's very beneficial. Uh, and having knowledge of how to do it and what to expect is really important. In Virginia Beach, Patrick Bloodgood, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Norfolk District.